Hello, we will talk about extinction events on this earth. Earlier in the DVD, I spoke about uniformism, that Darwin believed that everything was sort of the same and small changes could happen and then we can start from one-celled organisms into the magnificence of human beings with intelligence that can perceive the great, magnificent qualities, the awesome qualities of God. Well, that was sort of outdated because if you actually look at the data and the clear records, there are major extinctions. Yeah, everybody's heard about the dinosaurs where there was a huge meteorite in the Yucatan Peninsula and that killed them. Well, actually, it didn't kill them. It killed many. And then slowly thereafter, others died. So this is considered one of the major extinction events. Let's just look at the Wikipedia that everybody can access with all of its footnotes, etc. Whew. Let's look at this and just go through these extinction events. They say there's five major ones. Okay. And what is an extinction event? Mass extinction. Everything is wiped out, or most of it. And it says 98% of the documented species are now extinct. Extinct people, most of them, almost all of them, maybe have some alligators and some other remains that have some sort of fossil imprint or maybe some teeth and some. Okay, let's go. Bones. Fossilized bones of great, magnificent monster dinosaurs. Okay, the first one, yeah, about 65 million years ago, 75% of the species are extinct. Then you go about 200 million years ago, 75% are extinct. We mentioned that with the dinosaurs and the Yucatan. Go to the next major, another extinction event, 251 million years ago, 90, 96% of the species. 360 million years ago, 70%. And then it says, let's just read what it says right here. It says, despite... The popularization of these five events, there is no fine line separating them from other extinction events. Okay. You can use different methods and, you know, you can put others in the top five. Okay, that's interesting. And then the older the fossil record gets, the more difficult they are to read. Okay, so a lot of it's guessing games, I'm sure, with mad scientists or these professors in their laboratory sorting through fossils and putting them together and saying, oh, another species. Yeah, we need a new model. It's based on energies, light, and awareness. So I just want to go to the next extinction events, which we can put these five into, and look at the dates. Yeah, I've heard scientists, some of them try to use Earth's precession of the equinox, about 26,000 years to look for some patterns that might cause extinctions. But we can look at the data. It's random, people. Let's wake up and look at something that is possible here with actual data that we have. Okay, we know about 10,000 years ago there was a major extinction at the last ice age that wiped out many of these mammoths and other fossils, other animals that are extinct. Then about 2 million, 12 million, 19 million. These are the gaps. 32, 51, 29, 37, 17, 51, 19, 48, 98, 444. Four, four. Okay, is that just 12? 12, 48, 14, and then 15 million years. These are what they're saying are extinction events where much of the life that was there is gone. This is clear evidence, clear, backed up, that contradicts Darwin and his uniformism. Whoa. Yeah, a new model. Spiritually based, based on energy, just like that E equals the mass times the speed of light squared. E equals MC squared, everybody's heard of. Let's go. Let's go and realize Relativity after life and our responsibilities here and now in this lifetime to learn of the great attributes 
to put together the past with a simple model that's actually in the Bible and other major world religious traditions. Let's just understand it scientifically with all the data. Thank you. Thank you for this edition. Thank you.